has been bottled by. Hundreds of people have been protesting in Tel Aviv after the Israeli military mistakenly killed three hostages in Gaza. The men, all in their 20s, have been taken in the Hamas attacks in Israel on October the 7th. There are still more than 100 hostages in Gaza and protesters are demanding the government secure a deal for their release. Anna Geary reports. Protesters march through Tel Aviv, blocking roads they chant, deal, now. <coughs> Families of hostages held in the Gaza Strip spill red paints on the roads, a symbol of the bloodshed. After learning that Israeli forces mistakenly killed three Israeli hostages, they were misidentified as a threat during combat in Shajaya. The army has expressed deep remorse and is investigating. We believe that the three Israelis either fled or were abandoned by the terrorists who held them captive. We still don't know all the details of how they reached this area. Meanwhile, an Israeli strike on a school in southern Gaza has claimed the life of Al Jazeera cameraman Samer Abu Dhaka. As war continues, Yemen's Houthi rebels are escalating their attacks on ships passing through the Red Sea. Two of the world's biggest shipping firms have suspended journeys there, heightening fears on severe disruption to global supply chains. Anger intensifies. With more than 100 Israeli hostages still thought to be in captivity in Gaza. Whilst the Hamas run Gaza Health Ministry says more than 18,700 Palestinians have been killed. Anagiri, ITV News. The Prime Minister travels to Rome today to hold talks with the leaders of Italy and Albania. It's expected illegal migration will be at the top of the agenda. Rishi Sunak is also expected to make an appearance at an event organised by the Italian leader's far-right political party. 17-year-old Alex Batty is expected to return to the UK this weekend, six years after he disappeared on a family holiday to Spain. He'll be reunited with his grandmother, who is his legal guardian. Caroline Lewis has the details. A child who went missing six years ago. Now Alex Batty will finally return home to the UK, almost a young man. The 17-year-old was spotted walking alone on this rural road near Toulouse. He was picked up by French student Fabian. It was like if I took someone randomly on the side of the road to help him out, but the difference was that he had been kidnapped. According to the teenager, he lived in Morocco before coming to the Pyrenees to live in a spiritual community. Yesterday, French prosecutors said he fled when his mother announced she was planning to move again. When his mother indicated that she was going to leave with him to Finland, this young man understood that this had to stop. He walked and he got food from whatever he found in the fields. Alex disappeared in 2017 after his mother and grandfather failed to return after a holiday in Spain. Waiting for him is his grandmother, his legal guardian. I think I've seen you look so much. I might not see him ever again. It's now only a matter of time until her wait is over and she'll be reunited with her grandson at last. Caroline Lewis, ITV News. The death of Friends star Matthew Perry was an accident, according to the Los Angeles coroner, caused by an acute effect of the drug ketamine. The 54-year-old was found unresponsive in the pool of his L.A. home in October. Drowning was listed as a contributing factor. He had been open about his battle with addiction and substance abuse. And finally, never seen before footage of the dress rehearsals for the King's coronation has been released. The blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be amongst you and remain with you now and... Oh, I can't be right. Almost all. A new BBC documentary shows private behind-the-scenes moments, including the king and queen joking and laughing, and Camilla's sister watching in tears as she heads to the Abbey to be crowned. That's it for now. I'll be back with the lunchtime bulletin at quarter to one. Bye-bye.